Hello and welcome to Advanced of Rocketry. So in this mod there's various things you could get in terms of all you got you know uh, aluminum, uh, rutile tin, rutile is for titanium. Um, we look at something like a steel gear um, you can see these are some of the early machines you might want to get like the precision assembler, cutting machine, lathe and rolling machine uh, and a lot of these items, like the user interface, some of these circuit boards, uh, diamonds, gold, uh, they do need plates though. So to get a plate, for instance, you would just get this uh, this guy, the small presser, looks like a piston, small, uh, and it is kind of not far off being a piston. Uh, they'll get you four plates, um, but to get more you do need the rolling machine. Um, but obviously, look, you did need that steel gear. Um, so what you would need to do is use build one of these, the electric arc furnace. Uh, take a look at the actual arc furnace block itself. Again, uh, using those control circuits, from nether bricks, user interface. All these sort of things use fairly similar stuff. I've actually got one over here. Um, and you can basically choose if you want these to be um, uh, output hatches or input hatches. So I've got some sand in there. Um, um, so yeah, and I had some, I put some iron and some charcoal in there as well before. So you can see we're starting to get these things like uh, silicon and steel from there. Uh, it is a pretty slow process. Um, so yeah, but they do, it does eventually uh, work out and you can see it's going through the process. Um, so yeah, and there's some power stuff up at the top there. So yeah, and I just uh, if you you have to sort of do all the all of them. So each one of these power input plugs has got uh, ten thousand in it. That's why we've got thirty thousand there. Um, and this thing is just the uh, how you uh, pro use the the hollow projector, uh, and it tells you the um, the requirements that you need for that. Um, so, um, one of the things you often build in the early game is a a sawmill, and the cutting machine is basically that. So, if we just use this hollow projector, which is uh, yeah, like so. Um, you can see the cutting machine and I'll just uh, so yeah it needs a, 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 um, a motor um, just requires some steel and again the rods are in the lathe um, I'll get to that in a minute uh, yep Okay, so to put the uh, saw blade, uh, do we see the saw blade? No, just a bit of iron for the saw blade, it's not too bad. Let's see if we can you get the right one. Yeah. There we go. So yeah, so like I say, we've got this, uh, the power input plug here. Uh, and then the input and output hatches, which have got uh, storage in them. And then just uh, you off, and it's often the way you just have to get the block itself, which requires a control circuit, uh, various uh, kind of other items that are actually very much, uh, very much repeated through uh, the various kind of blocks. And then it's simply a case of just uh, right clicking. And then what you can do is you would just um, you just put some uh, some logs in there and supply power over here. So so that will go in like that. Turn it on, and off we go. And it gets six from that. Um, so yeah, didn't I say what also was uh, 
Also the rolling machine and the lathe as well. Uh, already sort of spoken about them, so let's uh, just uh, um, let's uh, just build a couple more of these things. So we've got it on rolling machine now. Uh, let's see if we can get this. I'm just thinking, so what's that going to be? 3, 5, 7, 13, 14, 16. Yeah, so it's going to be too high, this thing. So I want to make sure that I um, I get it to the... Uh, so unfortunately, it uses the shift scroll wheel functionality, which, I'm, which I can't use very well, unfortunately, because... Uh, yeah, I just can't. So it's, it's, it's a bit of a difficulty trying to get this to work for me. There we go, I think I got it. That looks correct now. Okay. So yeah, each time it will be like that unfortunately, but... Uh, you know, there's nothing I can really do about it. Uh, until uh, the, uh, the mods may let you not use the, uh, you know. So we've got a couple of different blocks here. Machine structure. Pretty straightforward recipe. Uh, output hatch. Uh, it's another output hatch. Uh, there's more ma machine structure blocks here. Is that not a machine structure book? I wonder. Maybe it's not. Fluid input hatch. Haven't looked at that one yet. Okay, pretty straightforward. Power input. Then we've got some inputs here. rolling machine goes up there. So I may have... I don't know. Let's hope we haven't missed one. We'll soon see. Yeah, I think I did... I think it must be there then. Yeah. I thought it was one there. Let's try it now. Okay, so there's the rolling machine. Uh, that's not the running machine block. Hmm. So we'll give this one some power as well. So I'd like to see if I can do the plates a bit better then. So it's got some power in it. I'm surprised it's got a fluid hatch on it. So this should should be for iron plates. Let's see if there's any sort of... It doesn't actually... In the rolling machine, it doesn't actually seem to indicate it requires fluid, do it? Let me just see what happens if I put an ingot in here. What does it say on it? Ah, it wants water in it. Okay. Let's... And it's using it, is it? I think it uses 100 for each operation, maybe? Let's see where the output... Where is the output? Where is the output actually? Okay. So yeah. So let's just see if there's anything else that is in the rolling machine that is... So there's a lot of tanks for the stuff in the moon. Hmm. Just the plates. So yeah, so basically... 
Yeah, so if you just compare it to the to the setup with this thing, a steel block will give you four, and in here you'll get nine. So it's obviously advantageous to use this. Um, so let's try the next one. And again, um, yeah, the only reason I actually went on about the um, um, about this is because I know that I'm going to have to do it again. So each time. There may be a little bit of time where I'm trying to... Okay. So what is this? The, the lathe is going to require one, two, three, four, six, seven blocks. Okay. So. Okay, I'm getting better at it. I'm getting better at it. That's the thing, you know. Um, there's no point, like... I've tried to like not get too affected by the f the fact that I don't have um, the uh, the scroll wheel on the mouse, but it is it is it is a it is annoying because you know that every time you do that you're going to have to deal with it. But I was actually quite uh, surprised and happy about the result there. Uh, it went very well. So yeah. Okay. Okay, so it's like that, and the power input plug, and again, similar sort of stuff for the lathe. Uh, wait, did I just? Yeah, I did. Okay, just chuck some of these away. So there is the lathe. There's the input hatch, the output is there. Let's put a little power in here. I've probably not even put it in the bright. I should probably actually look where the power is going in. Yeah, <laughs> that's the thing. I'm building it, but I'm not even noticing where the where the power is. Okay. So input hatch. So what, I can put a steel ingot in there, can I? I think I've actually used one of these. It wasn't for this, it was for plastic. So you get two steel rods. So you get two steel from one ingot. So yeah, so this is four from three. So yeah, so it's basically 50% uh, improvement just from casting from the uh, ingots. So that's pretty cool. Um, uh, what else? Okay, so the crystallizer. So one thing I would like to look at is yeah, let's do the. Uh, so I've done the cutting machine. Did I did I show the cutting machine yet? Yes, cutting machine. Okay, so we've done cutting machine, rolling machine, and lathe, right? Um, I did want to look at the uh, the precision assembler. So we get we I remember I've showed how to get the silicon. Okay, so what I could do is so the crystallizer dilithium. That, yeah, so the crystallizer is really just to get the silicon balls, but that is actually quite an important process. So I will do the crystallizer. Okay. Uh, so there's 12 items here. Okay, let's try this again. We'll go put.
All right, we'll try one more time here. It's just, it's it really, there we go. Okay, got it. Think, is that enough? Yes, yeah, 12. Okay, good. All right. So like I say, I mean, I may, okay. Yeah, what I have to do, you see, I, I have to do, when you don't have uh, the middle mouse button, what you actually have to do is you have to, you have to, it's almost like, a, it's, it's hard, it's like touch control sort of thing. Maybe it's popular now, maybe it's like, a, I don't know, I, would, I wouldn't really know to be honest. But yeah, you have to do various kind of motions that are not normal. You have to basically hold down, you have to sort of, swipe on the trackpad to try to get it to work correctly um, while holding shift <laughs> so we need various quartz crucibles for this uh, that does not have oh okay I was wondering what that is that's just the texture for it so just uh, well cauldrons basically uh, and we need what four of these guys one two three five actually oh six so we've got the input hatches here and the power at the back okay let's just get a capacitor ready for that and the crystallizer is made yeah, they're all the same recipes, so it makes it actually makes a lot of sense. And ooh, I do like them. I do like the models. They're actually um, kind of remind me of Magnetic Craft. Now I was thinking about it, but anyway, so yeah, so you just need to have. So what was it? It's just a silicon nugget, and that's just yeah. That's there's nothing else to. It. So I put one of these, one of these, power it on. And yeah. So the so let me just um. So yeah, that's going to get the silicon. So, what about these silicon wafers? So, yeah. So, what you would do is you would put the the ball into the uh, the cutting machine. Um, yeah. I believe that's what you do, isn't it? Yeah, it does seem to be what you do. Hmm. For some reason that stopped. Oh. Okay, so you put the ball in like this, and that will create the wafers. So the wafers are what you use for the kind of actual sort of once you start getting to the next phase with the rockets. Um, so yeah, the precision assembler, one item that I didn't look to. So what I might do. Hmm, interesting. So this is what we were making before. So in the ass assembler, so yeah, that's probably the um, the thing about that is that a lot of this stuff is going to be is going to move on to the next section actually. So I would. So yeah, the observatory, the precision assembler, 
they'll probably be what I look at next time because I think I've done a decent amount of stuff the electrolyzer turning getting the fuel for the rockets yeah all right that will do for now thanks for watching